right what to stick in there so when you get the access you can get it with bags from the factory but I opted not to because I have some bags of my own that I thought might work and I was like if that doesn't work I think I want to go with like a custom wake makers bag but with the uh, 2022 access 822s as well as like most of the recent years or I think pretty much all of them this is kind of the setup you're getting so you've got a uh, two hoses in the bottom that connect with the hard tanks and then you've also got this hose up here which is kind of the overfill getting into like the bags you know so i didn't order it from the factory with any plug and play bags i just had the the plumbing installed and when i did that i was like you know what i was like i want to go big i did some calculations and i ended up with this wake makers bag so these are the 865 custom fit uh options that wake maker makes and this is how they come from the factory so they've got the valves or the clip pieces for the quick clips like already in there they're actually glued in there which is cool less leaking that way so you got the fill drains in the front and the back and then you've got the uh the overflow vent on the top but i found with the 865s that they were you know there's a lot of weight in there and that's on top of the 200 pound hard tanks on each side of the boat and filling them up it was just way too much back weight and uh, basically couldn't get on plane and that's with the uh, the 2022 A22 with the M6 engine, so the bigger engine option. You know, getting rid of those. Um, but I got thinking, I was like, what should I go with next? So Black Friday rolled around and uh, did another Wake Makers order. So got that in here. And just to pull those out so you can see what we got in here. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, other size. I think they're. 550s definitely a little bit less weight about 300 pounds less but really excited to check those out but before i got into those before i used them i also got thinking i was like you know i've got these old um sumo bags from my last boat these 650s and you know with sumo you do need to be careful with the weight because if you actually measure out the bags like i think this one's 20 by 20 by 40 and if you multiply the three of those, you get the cubic um, inches. And you take the cubic inches times 0 0.0361, and that gets you the total weight of the bag. And I do find with sumo bags, oftentimes they are not as heavy as they advertise. And especially with some of like the bow bags. So be careful with sumo. And if you have some old ballast bags, or like maybe you get the chance to try a ballast bag, you know, I like to see how it's gonna fit in the boat. So in order to check the bag fit, obviously you can measure stuff out, but that doesn't always give you what you need. But I suggest having one of these on your boat. I mean, if you're ever doing tubing or something like that, being able to inflate your stuff easily is uh, key. You could fill the bag up with water, but I wouldn't suggest that on your trailer because you're putting a lot of weight on the trailer that it's not really designed for. So we tested out the 650s in there and like, I thought overall they actually fit, but it was a little tight. I didn't like how it was right up against the fuse box on the front and then on the back, you could tell it was gonna get pinched a little on the part of the boat um, on the gel coat in the back. Like it's kind of a sharp edge and um, I don't know, they could work, but probably I'd be maxing out what's in there I just feel like it's going to wear the boat out a little bit. Plus, there's no storage for, like, extra vests if they're full back there. So, I think I'm probably going to go with these 550s. These custom wake maker bags are really well thought out. Like, they actually go in and, like, custom measure specific boats and then figure out the bags for them. Whereas, like, something like a Sumo or a Fat Sack, all of those are, you know, just generic kind of rectangle or oval shapes. Um, at least for those rear bags. Um, but yeah, let's look at the bag. So we've got the vent overflow right there. Again, it's the three quarter hose. We've got the, uh, the fill drain in the back and we'll have the fill drain in the front. 
As you can see compared to the 865, this one does kink up a little bit, but it's not nearly as far. So I think it's probably similar length to the 865. That's the part that goes under the bench, but just it's not gonna go up as tall. With testing this one, you could put tape over the valves. Well, you could use duct tape or something, but duct tape's messy, it leaves residue. Um, could use masking tape, probably be pretty good, but it's not super sticky or stretchy. Um, I happen to have this like wide electric tape on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna cut off a piece here and we'll cover that up. You know, it doesn't have to be great. Kind of wrap it around a little bit. I'm just gonna grab like a rubber band, just have like a one that would come with some like vegetables at the grocery store and just wrap that around it a few times. That should give us what we need. Like, you know, could probably just use a baggie there now that I've thought about it, but um, I have the tape on hand, so just use that. And again, the reason we're not taking this out is with these bags at least, these pieces are glued in. <laughs> I don't know why this is harder than it should be, but I think this will be fine. I'll get it across here a couple times. Cool. I think that's good. So yeah, we'll get the, uh, the front up there. Cool. Fuses are not getting hit. You know, we are pinching a little down there. Not pinching in the back. So yeah, I think that's a better fit. You could probably fit like a vest or two in here too. So I'm gonna let that deflate. Take these off. So we'll connect the last one in in the front here under the seat. A lot easier than trying to do it from the back. Make sure that's fully engaged there. And, uh, and that's a wrap. Hopefully that was useful for you. I would say that, um, you know, if you've got some bags on hand that you want to check the fit, you know, you can measure stuff and do your best there, but sometimes just getting in there is going to let you know exactly how it's going to go. You know, for me, I think I will go with the 550s. So that's in a 2022 A22. So 2019 to 2022 is the third gen of the A22. So if it were me and you have that boat, I would go with the 550 Custom Wake Makers bags. They're going to have the least amount of pinch and a good amount of room, and they're not going to be so much weight that uh, you end up having to not use them to their max anyway. You know, on that topic, I like to fill up my bags to their max because then you know it's the same on each side. Uh, when you don't fill them up to their max and they're sloshing around, I don't know, it just causes problems that I think if you can fill max, it goes a lot better. So I am gonna be selling my 865 soon. I'll probably get rid of those 650 Sumos as well, um, either through Facebook Marketplace or eBay or whatnot. So if you are interested in those bags and you want a good deal, uh, send me a message here on YouTube and we can uh, we can work something out because it'll definitely be cheaper than buying them new. I was gonna say again like this Ryobi inflator great tool for your boat this is the uh, tag on the bottom so that's P738 um, definitely nice for blowing up tubes deflating tubes but again you can use it for other stuff too like here we uh, got to play around with some ballast bags and see what fit the best yeah get out and shred and have a good one bye